the national record after a 20-year gap. He improved it in Doha to the uh, South African to 3.33. Mekanon Gebremedin of uh, Ethiopia, sixth in the Olympic final last year, seventh in uh, Daegu. He's done nothing really this season to suggest he can improve on those sorts of positions. Nate Brannan, the Canadian, the Commonwealth Games silver medalist, back in 2006, has done really well this year to get through to this final. Most of his races in Canada, though, this might be a step up beyond him. Henrik Ingebrigtsen, of course, the Norwegian, the European champion last year, the former cross-country skier, with a couple of uh, very good younger brothers who will be watching this with interest. Matthew Centrowitz, his dad was a 1976 Olympian, Matt Centrowitz. He's the uh, bronze medalist from two years ago when he came from fifth to third in the home straight. Great tactician, Centrowitz, and very quick finisher. Nixon Chip Saber, only 11th in the Olympic final, and a big disappointment last year when he had broken 3.30 twice leading up to the Games. Chris O'Hare of Great Britain, UK champion. His younger sister Olivia is a good 800 metre runner. She'll be watching this with interest. Very limited racing this year, O'Hare, but anything possible. He's run smartly to get through to this final. The defending champion, the Olympic champion back in 2008 when he was just 19 years old, Asbel Kiprop, one of the three Kenyans in this final. He was fourth back in 2007 when he was just 17. And Tesfaye of Ethiopia. Well, former Ethiopian, he's of Germany now. Since the 28th of June, he won the German 10,000 meters. Kiprop just needs to get his tactics right as they go to the line. The men's 1,500 meters final promises so much. Three Kenyans in this field. The same three Kenyans as in the Olympic final last year, but they were 7th, 11th and 12th last year. Kiprop was last in that Olympic final, carrying a hamstring injury. No Leo Manzano, the Olympic silver medalist. He was eighth in the first and slowest semi-final. No Nick Willis, no Lopez Lomont, no Igida, the Olympic bronze medalist. But it is still a packed field. And if the Kenyans run smartly here, Martin, well, they should certainly get amongst the medals and probably have a champion from Kiprop, who is the outstanding favourite. Well, it's also great to see a Brit in the final here, of course, at Moscow, 33 years on. Back in 1980, the Olympic final, we had three. We had one who won it. It may be a bit too much to burden history on the shoulders of Chris O'Hare. Sebastian Coe, the champion here at the Olympic Games. But he's done so well to get to this final, and O'Hare is just going here and think anything he does really is a bonus. Well, it's a reasonable pace, this first 400, but it's not quick. They go through there in 59.68. There's certainly not going to be a championship record. That belongs to El Garouz from 1999, when he had a teammate pacing for him. It was, uh, in a way, disgraceful. Kaush totally committed himself and sacrificed himself for his compatriot, who went on to run 3.27, one of the quickest times ever. But now, as they come round the uh, top bend, having gone through 400 metres in uh, very, very slow pace, it is Kip. It's a chip saver out in front from Kiprop, the uh, European champion on the inside there, uh, looking comfortable at the moment, Inge Britson on the shoulder of Kiprop. And uh, also there is Carvalho of France, all shadowing Kiprop here as uh, Centrowitz now moves through with two laps to go. Well, they've simply let Chip Saber go, and it's almost like he didn't want to be out in front for too long. He's a slightly reluctant leader. Chip Saber, we understand, has been battling a bit with a cold and sore throat over the course of the last two days. But there doesn't appear to be anything wrong with the way he's running here. 800 metres, almost two minutes. Very slow indeed. The closing speed's going to be impressive. Remember the uh, last 800 two years ago in Daegu, taking 149 with Kiprop striding out with those long, long legs of his. He dwarfs almost everybody else in this field, striding out quite comfortably to victory two years ago. And uh, if it hadn't been the hamstring injury last year, who knows, he might have won the Olympic Games. But as they come into the straight, it's still Chip Saber leading. And nobody doing anything to upset Kiprop here. And I think they should. The same plan that has worked for other runners, Mo Farah amongst them, at these uh, championships where really the rest of the field have allowed the favourite to have things very much his own way. Chef Sabre from Kiprop. Centrowitz in third place, shadowing the defending champion. Also there, good and good, is the only Ethiopian in this final, Gebra Medin. 1,200 metres in 256. That was only a 57.17. It wasn't quick. Well, look at that. You've got Chep Seber is kicking on, but Kiprop is just lurking and waiting to kick. 200 metres to run. It's extraordinarily slow. Nobody's really kicked in hard yet. It's going to be a 200 metres.
to sprint this one. 150 to go. Shep Saber from the uh, reigning champion Kipler. Coming wide, Kipler got sent to it. His box a little bit at the moment. Also coming through there on the inside. And looking strong is the Australian. But is he going to the South African rather? But look at this. Kipler bursting to victory very comfortably indeed. And can you believe Tonye takes the bronze medal? Sent to it the silver. Well, what a bizarre race that was. Absolutely so little going on from the entire field until 200 to go, less than 200 to go, and they thought they were going to catch Kiprop out. Just, I was checking in my preparation, their 800 meter time is just out of interest. Kiprop is by far the quickest of this field at 800 meters. He's run low 143s, only one of the others has broken 145. What they thought they were going to do, I don't know. Much center it. Well, He'll be a little bit frustrated, I think, when he watches that one. He's gone from bronze two years ago to silver today, but he didn't really give him... 93, but Centrovic ran through the silver medal. He'll be happy with that, but you have to say Kiprock was not tested at all. But a personal triumph for that fella. He is delighted. Well, he should be. The medals then, going to Kiprop as expected, the gold, the silver to Centrovic, that was perhaps predictable, but a wonderful bronze for Kronje, the South African.